Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. Today we'll be learning about the infix to postfix conversion using stack. So let's start. So we have already told that one of the most important application of stack data structure is to convert an infix expression to postfix expression. So what is this infix and postfix expressions are? Well, an expression in which the operators lie in between the operands are called infix expressions and an expression in which the operators lie after the operands are called postfix expression. Here a plus b into c is an example of infix expression and a b c into plus is an example of postfix expression. So this is the postfix expression of this infix expression. So now let us know that why are we so concerned about postfix expression? Well, the compiler when reads or scans an expression, it does from left to right or from right to left. So if an infix expression is there and the compiler needs to scan it, then it needs to do it repeatedly. Now to avoid the inefficiency that occurred due to this repetition of the same task, it is better to convert the expression from infix to postfix before we evaluate the expression. When the expression is uh, converted into an postfix expression, then it can be easily evaluated using stack and without using the repeated steps. So now let us see the algorithm which we will work on in order to get the postfix expression from the infix expression. So what we need to here do is we first scan the infix expression from left to right in a loop until the end of the string. Now while we are scanning we have to incur some conditions. So the first condition that we can encounter is if the character is an operand then what we do is we put it to the final postfix expression string. Next condition if the character is an opening bracket then we push it into the stack. Now if the character is a closing bracket then we pop all the elements from the stack until an opening bracket is encountered and lastly if we encounter that the character is an operator then if the precedence of this operator is greater than the top of the stack or the operator at the top of the stack then we push it into the stack otherwise we pop the top of the stack until this first condition that we had talked about is met and then we push it into the stack now after this algorithm is applied and we are done with this loop the result string will contain the postfix expression and we just need to get it printed out. So now let's jump onto the coding part and let's see how we can implement it. Okay, so I have opened my IDE and I've already written down the codes that I use to create a stack using array and the function to create stack. So now I will write the rest of the code that is I'll actually start with this main function. But before writing the main function, uh, we will be needing another library here. So let me just add it. That will be include string.h. Now let us start writing the code. So int main as usual. The return will be 0 here. Now here what we'll first do is we'll take uh, expression actually. So expression and let's say the expression is a plus b into c now what we'll do we'll simply call a function which will convert the infix expression to postfix so infix to postfix and we will give this expression as argument and nothing else to do so now in this function all the main task will be done so this will have a return type of void and here we will pass a pointer to this string so now first we will be taking two variables here this and this variable we will initiate it with a minus one value we will also be needing a result string where we will store the postfix expression and let's say the size of the string will be string length of this 
expression let me take one more yes so now we will first create the stack so struct stack star s is equal to create stack and as the capacity we will uh, pass the string length of expression so and lastly we will check if not as that if the stack is not being created properly then we will simply return so now uh, for this function I will add a, a few more lines actually so uh, this is if not s then return return null and after this array we'll also check this condition if not s array then we will return null so the rest of the part is okay so now here we are done with the creation of the stack now we will run a loop in which we will do or we will encounter all the conditions that we may face so for i is equals to 0 the condition will be until expression is not or expression of uh, this is not is equal to this and I'll increment the i so now inside the loop everything will be done so the first condition that we will be checking if uh, the present character is an operand or not so for this also we will use a function so is operand and I will pass this expression here now if this is the case then we will do what is result and I'll post increment the K and I will store the current character now the next condition that we have to take in account is if the expression is an opening bracket then what we'll do we'll push the character into the stack so for that we will use this push function and inside which we will pass as arguments s comma the expression now another condition is that else if we find that the expression is a closing bracket well then we have to again check a condition and we'll run a loop that is while first of all a stack cannot be empty so we'll use this function not is empty stack and we'll also see that not or actually this will be and we will use a function here top of the stack is not is equal to an opening bracket if this is the case then we'll simply pop the elements of the stack into this result string so you we will use this pop function I will be defining all the functions that I have already declared during this part of the code uh, well now in the next part of this else if loop I will again check for this condition which will help me to realize that the expression here is an invalid one so if this is the case then I'll simply write return and otherwise I'll simply write pop s now otherwise otherwise means this case encounters with the condition when we actually encounter an operator as the present character so now if that is the case then what we'll do we'll first see the precedence and then we'll do our corresponding actions so now while 
not is empty that is the stack can't be empty and we'll check for the precedences so precedence of the current character is less than equal to precedence of the top of the stack if that is the case then we will simply pop the elements and store it into the final expression so result plus plus k is equal to expression okay uh, this will be sorry pop so this is the thing so otherwise uh, what we'll do we will simply push into the stack and the expression now after this we are done with the loop now uh, we'll again check for the is empty condition and uh, we will pop all the elements if there is any so if this is the case then we'll again write result plus plus k is equal to pop and lastly uh, or penultimately we will store this as the last character of this string and we will simply print the expression so post fix expression is this and this will be result so now the main uh, like the main operating function in fix to post fix is written down now we'll have to define all the functions that we had used here so first comes this is operand so let me just copy it now this function will have a return type of int so int uh, this and will pass a character here so we'll have to just check that if ch uh, i'll do it like this if ch is greater than is equal to small a and ch is less than is equal to small z or i'll just copy it again I guess this logic is very simple one and everyone must know it so here this will be a capital Z and this will be a capital A okay um, this will be a capital A so now if this is the condition then we'll simply return one else we will return zero so this is done now the next function is push so i will again copy this and this push has a return type of void right so void push now the first argument is of struct stack type and this will be a character so character ch now here what i'll do is this is a very simple code so s array and i'll increment the top of the array and i'll simply assign the character to it that's it now after push this is the function that we need to define that is is empty so i'll again copy it and is empty here requires a return type of int so is empty and the argument passed here is of struct stack type now is empty first we'll check for this condition if s top is equal to is equal to minus one then return one else return 0 so next function to define is top so I'll again copy it 
this top function will also have a return type of int and an argument passed to it is struct stack star s and here what will return simply is return s array of s top now the next function that is to be defined is pop so I'll again copy it and this uh, pop function will have a return type of care and the argument passed here will be struct stack star s so in this pop function first we'll check for this is empty condition so if is empty s okay let me just write it again is empty then we will return this special character dollar in order to indicate that the stack is empty otherwise what will return is return s array s top minus minus so this will return the current top element and also decrement the top value we have already known this logics so pop is done and lastly this precedence function is to be defined now this function again have this return type of int and I'll have this char ch as the arguments so for this I'll check for some conditions now if ch is equal to is equal to this or ch is equal to is equal to a closing bracket then I will return 0 let me just copy this piece of code because the same thing is to be done here okay let me just indent it properly and lastly also this here this will be plus and minus will return one this time and here this will be star and divide and here we will return two so the precedence function is also defined so nothing more to define the code is uh, ready to run I guess yes so let's run it and see if we can do the infix to postfix conversion so here you can see the output we had given a plus b into c and we have got back this a b c into plus this is the postfix expression so this is how we can convert an infix expression to postfix expression using stack data structure thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time